already created this syllabus, we have decided to put UCAT as the book in exchange for seeking Jesus Christ as their um, as their book uh, in um, in tandem with a moral values book. And then, by the tipo ng fourth quarter, it is all about prayers. Yung prayer po ng na lagi nating uh, dinadasal, yung Holy Rosary, five main types of prayer, the sources of prayer, the way of prayer, which are vocal prayer, meditation, and cont contemplative prayer. And it ends with the Lord's Prayer. At yan po ang content ng Yukat book. Simplified. Now let's go to the Tukat book. May syllabus din po siya. Uh, God's Master Plan, Love. Sorry. This is for grade, grade 12. Ito po, Tukat book is for grade 12. Teenager na po. Together we are strong, the church social mission. Unique and infinitely valuable, the human person. That's the first quarter. The second quarter is the common good, parenthood, solidarity, subsidiary, the principles of the church, social teaching. If you notice po, based from Yukat to Dukat, medyo heavy po siya. It talks about the social doctrines of the church. The foundation of society, occupation and vocation, human work. But the tingpo ng third quarter, welfare and justice for all, economic life. And then um, power and morality, the political community, one world, one humanity, the international community. And then pag the tingpo ng fourth quarter, safeguarding creation, the environment. Yun po yung laudato si. Tapos yung living in the freedom from violence, peace. Tapos, personal and social commitment, love in action. So, if, if you notice po, yung syllabus po yan, kung gagawitin nyo po sa inyong school, um, what they, your teachers can do is put it by quarter or trimester. We also have it in trimester form. And then, by uh, work backwards, by hours po, kung how long it will take them. And from there, they will make their lesson plan. Now, the next page is how to conduct your study groups. Uh, I think we will be discuss. He will be discussing it in a little while, and also, and the last page is about the different types of yoga groups. Uh, that is the first methodology, and the second is through the parish settings where we are invited to talk, or there is a speaker. Who will sit down with your with your youth, and uh, they can uh, they they have a module that will be presented to them, and then you follow the no share meet and express methodology, which will be discussed later. Okay, and of course the third is through social media. Um, ang UCAT Philippines po has a web now. And every week, po, we come out with different sayings which the youth follow, no? like this. We talk about the sayings of the week, or we, we give um, mercy, mercy challenge week and counseling the doubtful. Tapos meron po, hate the sin, love the sinner, and then the prayer to generosity. Yung po, yung, to make it attractive to our uh, youth, no, they can um, they can enter our Facebook and they will follow the teachings uh, that we give every week. Now, um, there was an instance that uh, I experienced having a person jailed because nagnakaw po siya sa akin, and in that instance, the kailangan bibigyan siya ng hatol, I was invited to be there. No, it's the first time that I went there without a lawyer because my lawyer was not available. At that time, I thought that, ah, pag, ano, tamang -tama to. This is the best for you. It is my time to pass judgment of you. Parang, ano pa, predictive pa ako nun. And then, when 
the when they arrive when I arrive wala pang tao doon sa right hand side sabi ko pa't kaya pakate walang katao-tao mamaya po dumating yung mga men in orange ang dami nila isa pala po doon yung sesentensyahan ko what will I want to do in the guy and so I wasn't looking because I was in fear I was a woman and I was alone I didn't have a lawyer yung pala lawyer ko doon yung Panginoon no and I was asked I was called by the judge and yung tao po tinawag din first time ko po siyang makita and seen in his face were signs of hunger fatigue poverty and years of neglect by us in society so from a person with a lot of anger in my heart i was converted to a person with compassion and mercy so when i was asked what do you want to do with him i asked the judge judge how long has he been in jail and the judge uh, and one of the lawyers yung lawyer po ng, ng court Oh, he has been in jail for three months already. So, right there and then I said, Katabi ko siya, oh. Nandiyan siya. Uh, Your Honor, I think being in jail for three, three months is enough for a person to experience how it is and to, to, to know that the person is sorry. So, inuulong ko na po ang case, sabi ko, provided, huwag na lang po siya pagbabalik kung saan po kami nakatira. Kasi nagnanakaw po siya araw-araw, pinagnanakaw kami ng bigas because that was our business. And the judge banged her gravel and said, okay, for that, you stay six more months. <laughs> Pinasaan pa rin ang judgment, no? And nakita ko po, tears rolling down his eyes, showing how really sorry he was but thankful that what was that was the judgment given to him. My reflection in this, which I want to share with you. Wasn't there anyone who shared God's love with him? Wasn't there anyone who could have shared that there is God who loves him? Kasi hindi po siya mapupunta sa ganon. Kung may nakausap po siya, he was a young man na nasayang po ang kanyang life because of poverty. And during the World Youth Day, yun po yung nakuha ko kay Pope Francis. Nandun po kami sa World Youth Day. That God loved us first and the joy is for the taking, no? And like what Father said, you cut is you and catechism. And that catechism is Christ. You and Christ. And that all of us, you and I, are not alone. So, uh, to all our directors who are here, uh, in your, if you need any services from us, we are just so willing to go to you and give some guidelines or modules or seminars for your catechists. Uh, thank you so much for this time with you.